This tutorial is for Becky to show you briefly how to measure roots while you're reviewing the cone beam with the patient. We're going to be looking at this tooth, uh, tooth number 15, and attempting to ascertain the lengths of all of the roots. You can see from the x-ray um, it looks like some complicated anatomy. So the first thing you do is you double click on your 3D icon and that will load uh, the uh, CareStream viewer for you. When the viewer appears on the screen, when you're doing measurements, we recommend that you go directly to oblique slicing. And in the oblique slicing view, you have these uh, orientation handles uh, colored according to the uh, particular view that uh, they represent. Purple represents the coronal slice. Green represents a sagittal slice. Yellow is the axial slice. So you take your orientation handles and manipulate them uh, to the view that uh, you need to do your measurement. So typically I will take the sagittal view, the sagittal handle, and I will orient it over the root we will be looking at. And then I will um, take the coronal slider and I'll line it up um, parallel to the width of the mesiobuccal root. And I'll try to center it right on that root. And then I'll go and in the uh, coronal section, which is marked by this purple um, triangle here, I will also line up the sagittal angle according to the longitudinal axis of the root. And then I will go over to the sagittal section and I'll line that up at the same time. Now you're actually ready to position your slices so that you get an accurate uh, orientation of the root. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the mesial buccal root. So if you look at here is the mesial buccal canal. I will orient it right over that canal with both the sagittal and uh, coronal views squ squarely right on the root and this will give me the measurement an accurate measurement of the mesial buccal root so let's go ahead and do that here I click on the ruler I put one pointer at the apex of the root I come down to about the midpoint and it says 20.3 millimeters and I'll enter that into the record. Let's remove that so you can see it better. You can also do um, um, multi-plane uh, and polyline uh, angles if you don't want to go in a straight line but this actually is pretty accurate. Then I'll take my um, sagittal slider and I'll move it I'll move it over to the MB2 root and as I do that please notice what happens in the sagittal view. As you bring this over the other root comes into play. Here you can see it right here and then I'll change the angulation of the coronal slider slightly as well and that'll give me another view of it here. So it's worthwhile getting your measurements in both the coronal and sagittal views and comparing them if, there, if there's any difference. So here I can see uh, the apices of the MB2 canal. Let's just take a measurement here. Select the measure tool, go down and I come down to 18.4 millimeters. Then I try it in the sagittal view and I'm 18.2 millimeters. I'll remove these so you can see them. So by manipulating these it's very easy, easy to measure each individual root. If you look at the sagittal section here. In fact, I'll enlarge this so it's easier to see. As I slide this, 
you can see the outlines of both roots. There's the MB1. There's the, there's the MB2 root. And if you need to, you can actually slide uh, with your mouse uh, scroll bar as well. So that's basically um, how we measure um, each separate root independently. And I think you'll find that uh, these measurements are very, very accurate.